What was it that attracted you to Sylvia? She had already helped my cousin. I mean, literally changed her life. I needed somebody to slap me and say, you know, snap out of it. What made you read her book? I used her in business to um, enhance my business. She's made millionaires out of my friends, literally. I'm here with the amazing Sylvia Friedman, who is a astrologer for more than 30 years now. And you graduated from NIU, and now you are helping people find themselves. Yes, I am. And... Uh, it's always fun to help people find themselves because that's when they're the happiest. Originally, I was an actress on the stage for 10 years, uh, and I've had a large career. But I, I started to study astrology when I got divorced and had to have more money to raise my kids. I became so fascinated by it and saw how much it affected personalities and how much you can learn so much about yourself. I speak, I'm a motivational speaker. I travel around to colleges all over the country teaching college kids how to be in charge of their own life. I give them the opportunity to look at themselves and know that they can make the right decisions. You've been on radio, you've been on TV, including Oprah. How was that experience for you? Uh, good. Um, when I, people say to me when I go on television or when I'm on radio, aren't you scared? And I say no. First of all, the reason I'm not scared is because it's home. When you've been an actress, when you've been a producer, sitting on a set is home. The stars in your family. And right. this is how to work with the people in your family by being, even if they're different signs? Absolutely. Many times you can give birth to a, to a sign that is absolutely different than you. Uh, say the Gemini parent and the cancer child. Well, what happens when you combine a Gemini parent and a Cancer child, uh, this rational parent will want to teach his emotional child the value of logic. If you're with someone that comes from a logical place and you're with someone that comes from an emotional place, you have feelings, I have feelings because we're alike in that way, but the other person goes with the facts and they never quite understand the feelings. And that's when you have to learn. And so this book helps them learn. Now, I have another question for you. You're an Aries. I'm an Aries. Right. What does that say about me and you? Well, first of all, Aries men are a little different. But what it says about both of us is that we are very determined. We are very forthright. We don't stop. We're builders. And so no matter what we do, we continue. We're positive, and we don't let the world shake us. And even when it does, we come back and we survive and so we're leaders that's the way we think we are and that's the way we are and the only thing about uh, an Aries is they have to understand everything can't be the way they want it to be they have to have a little patience which is not always a virtue of ours the stars in your family sorry you can find that inside track it's gonna be on Amazon soon and I say pick it up she says pick it up because it's gonna help you change your relationship with your family it will help you change your relationship with your family. It will help you change your relationship with your mate, with, uh, with um, your employer. Yourself, too. Mostly yourself. I, my main thing is self-love. You don't love yourself. You own you. You belong to you. So, therefore, you must take care of you. And knowing who you are helps you do that. Great advice from a great woman. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, that's it for us. For Chicago Through Media, I'm Joel Burton. I'm going to learn more about myself.